American startup Nikola Motor Company is promising zero-emission trucks, and its latest offering is a smaller pickup set to arrive just after Tesla's Cybertruck. With competition promised for Tesla's biggest models, the rivalry heats up between the two pioneers. Take a seat and watch this battle unfold right before your eyes. Just like Elon Musk, Nikola Motor Company CEO Trevor Milton entered the game with little experience in the automotive industry, but with an all-important entrepreneurial spirit. His previous companies weren't as successful as he'd hoped. E-commerce platform Upillar was unable to keep up with demand and ended up costing Milton his personal assets, including family money, while his other company, which specialised in turning diesel trucks into natural gas hybrids, resulted in him having to sue an investor and shut doors once again. Hopefully third time lucky, Milton is now concentrating his efforts on hydrogen fuel cell and electric trucks. An early mover in the market, he was able to recruit PhDs and other experts and has some pretty exciting products lined up. Although the company is yet to deliver a single vehicle, over 14,000 pre-orders have been taken for its range of Class 8 trucks, the biggest category there is. The Nikola 1, 2 and Trey are a range of heavy goods vehicles that run off hydrogen and produce zero emissions. All models have a 17-inch touchscreen cockpit for controlling some of the truck's main features and some pretty futuristic design cues, while Nikola claims 2,000 foot-pounds of torque, 1,000 horsepower and a 750-mile range for its top models. The way to buy one? A leasing plan, which allows hauling companies to trade in their old truck for a new one at 700,000 miles or 84 months, whichever comes first. It includes the vehicle cost, servicing and maintenance, and hydrogen fuel at its network of partnered refilling stations. It's expected to cost around $5,000 a month. So far, so similar to Tesla's offering. A $150,000 truck with a 500-mile range called the Semi. Thanks to energy-saving regenerative braking, the company's three Class 8 trucks can begin braking in 10 milliseconds, hundreds of times faster than air-only disc brakes, according to Milton. This, and torque vectoring, which to you and I means each wheel spins at a different rate when cornering, make Nikola's range of trucks some of the most efficient and safe out there. What's more, Nikola is also promising a pair of off-road vehicles and a personal watercraft. While little information has been published about the WAV, we do know that the jet ski has a water and dust rating of IP68, that's the same as the latest iPhone range. Both all-terrain vehicles make use of four independent electric motors for all-wheel drive and are rated to IP67, that's the same as the iPhone X. The NZT and the Reckless claim up to 775 foot-pounds of torque, 590 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 4 seconds and a 150-mile range. What makes these stand out, though, is their 12-inch ground clearance and go-anywhere capabilities. You can reserve your NZT for free, although you can expect it to set you back $80,000 when it arrives next year. The Arizona-based company's latest offering aims to please a more local market, tradesmen and small to medium-sized businesses. The Nikola Badger will be available as a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle or battery electric vehicle, and at its best will produce 980 foot-pounds of torque and 906 horsepower, although normal driving conditions will see this reduced to 455 horsepower. A 600-mile range is promised, 100 more than the Tesla Cybertruck, though not if you repeatedly sprint from 0 to 60 in the claimed 2.9 seconds, which, as if by coincidence, is exactly the same time quoted by Tesla. Both models claim a 7,500-pound towing capacity, but the Badger's independent four-wheel drive setup allows it to tow up to 8,000 pounds. Retail price is expected to be between $60,000 and $90,000, at least $20,000 more than the Tesla Cybertruck. Pre-orders are being taken from June the 29th, although production still rests on Nikola joining forces with an established manufacturer. Milton claims that there are three in the pipeline and decisions could be made by the end of the year. The company's CEO claims that the Rivian R1T, whose order books have recently opened, is not a direct competitor for the Badger. He says it's too small and is aimed more directly at pleasure consumers than those who need a bigger vehicle for work. It's aimed, he says, at the Ford F-150 market. An electric version of the F-150, the Tesla Cybertruck and the Nikola Badger are all expected to arrive late in 2021 and 2022. Set out in its truck leasing plan, Nikola aims to control every area of the market, from sales to servicing and maintenance, right through to the delivery of its hydrogen fuel and even its creation. A standardized 15-minute refuel, just a little longer than it takes with diesel, will be available at sites across the US. The skeptics among us may worry about hydrogen's highly flammable nature, but being 15 times lighter than air, Nikola has that covered. They say in the unlikely event of a collision, the gas will just rise out of harm's way. Nikola doesn't just claim zero emissions when driving, but for the energy's entire journey, starting with solar panels and wind turbines. On-site conversion turns this electricity into hydrogen via a relatively simple process called electrolysis. 
After entering the stock market, stock prices took an upward turn. In fact, at the beginning of June 2020, the company was worth more than $30 billion. That's more than the 117-year-old Ford Motor Company. But mid-June saw its value drop to slightly below $24 billion, similar to Fiat Chrysler automobiles. Nikola may be a little way off Tesla's estimated $100 billion net worth, but if the company follows in Tesla's footsteps and soon releases passenger vehicles, will Tesla lose its position as the leading maker of electric vehicles?